What is up guys, it is Tony here, and today we are doing a quick little demonstration of iOS 8 for iPhone, iPad, all that jazz, you guys know what it is. Uh, so today, I went ahead and downloaded the uh, beta version of iOS 8, and I've been playing around with it, and I gotta be honest, it's pretty underwhelming. There's not that many updates, but I'm gonna quickly show you guys the updates that do exist so you guys have an idea of what will be coming to your devices in the fall. So first off, messages. Uh, you're going to notice that there's really a whole uh, revised interface to texting. And basically what they're doing here is they're trying to play catch up. They're trying to play catch up with Android. Now what I mean by that is that if you start typing, if you say the, it's going to start guessing. So the, obviously. Only one who is so basically it just guesses what you're gonna say next and you know if you mistype it uh corrections will show up down here and if you you know if you don't know what to say you could say i'll get back to you it gives you suggestions not sure you know it gives you starting points can't talk right now which you know it's interesting also if you hold down the uh audio thing here the microphone it actually records a voice notification once you're done, you can either send it, X, or you can listen. So you can listen back to what you recorded, you can delete it. So now you can easily send voice memos, voice messages to your friends. They also added in a more friendly looking uh, emoticon um, button down there, which, you know, is really unnecessary in my opinion. And to be honest, it actually annoys me because it takes up more space than it used to. And I accidentally click on that when trying to click on the numbers. So that's messages, basically. There's nothing too special about that. But uh, quickly, we'll show you how now you can quickly go to your recent um, people you called with your phone, uh, recent messages, things like that. So your contacts will show up up here, which is very nice. Another kind of hidden feature, to be honest, is that if you pull down the, uh, the notifications tab up there, you can edit it. You can add things like traffic conditions, stocks. You get the point. You can see all of it. Uh, so it lets you customize a little bit more. It's more like a widgets tab. And maybe it'll add more down the road for you to add. Another minor thing they added is that now when you go into your emails, uh, you have the ability to flag. The last thing I'm really able to show you right now is the timer that they added into the photo app. So to be honest, overall, there's not a lot of new features. Most of the features in this operating system are just refinement that makes certain apps a little bit nicer to use. And they've also added a lot of features to iOS 8 that help the developers make better applications. So when you get iOS 8, you'll see a few things here and there that you may like. But at the end of the day, what we're really going to see improved in the next operating system is the applications. I hope that the hardware they come out with in iPhone 6 is a little bit more revolutionary than this. But overall, this is definitely just a evolution of the current operating system. So, hopefully you guys got a little bit of information out of this that helped you out. Uh, you know, if you wanted just to see what this is all about. Uh, if there's anything I might have missed that someone else has seen um, as a feature, go ahead and leave it below. Honestly, Apple doesn't really list the features anywhere, so I'm kind of just finding them like it's an Easter egg hunt. Uh, but for the most part, those are the main glaring large features I've seen so far. But that is it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys next time.